So in this video, we are going to talk about the burden of proof. Let me give you an example, the story of a unicorn. So a friend of yours comes and tells you, um, I have the ability to turn into a unicorn whenever I want. So naturally you ask him, okay, prove it, turn into a unicorn then. Well, if he does, he makes a point. But the, if he says something in the like of, you have to prove that I cannot turn into a unicorn, then he's reversing what we call the burden of proof. And when this kind of thing happens, well, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to prove anything, you can just dismiss the claim by using what we call the Hitchens razor. So let's elaborate on the burden of proof or what we call onus probandi in Latin if you want to sound a bit posh. So Actually, in this kind of situation, the one who makes the claim, especially if it's a strong, extraordinary one, is the one who should prove it. So, uh, in the case of the unicorn, for instance, he, the person who does the claim is the one who has to prove that it can turn into a unicorn. You don't have to do anything. And if he wants to reverse the burden of proof, then you just say, okay, no, it's not my job. Don't even bother to try. So, to try to refute uh, his argument. So, thing is, you should remember about um, something that Carl Sagan uh, wrote, an aphorism, which I, I really like. It's called, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, or in short, a creed. If your opponent is unwilling to back up a claim with at least some sort of evidence, then you are just welcome to use Hitchens' razor. What can be asserted without evidence can also be dismissed without evidence. Let's take an example with data. More than 50% of people actually believe that the Earth is flat. If, when asked what data support this claim, the same guy tells, it's your responsibility to prove that most people don't believe the Earth is flat, then you can just dismiss the claim without giving it any thought. With this simple itchin's razor trick, you can save yourself a lot of time.